yesterday. We just sell lemonade, okay? Why not give it a try? Okay, we're live. All right, Ephraim am here, the real homecoming queen. I am the homecoming queen. <laughs> Ready? Go. <laughs> of 2017 and 2018, uh, Russian. Uh, Chuck Norris is jealous. Of AJ Morales. Son <laughs> Stupid. See, I respect my appendix. I feel cute. You look cute. Ow! <laughs> no, what is this? I've been really trying. Good morning, Ephraim. I'm Jenkins. And I'm Steven. This is, it's Monday, February 6th. Please rise for a moment of silence and pledge to the flag. Attention juniors, Millersville University will be hosting a college fair on Thursday, March 16th. This fair attracts approximately 150 different colleges, universities, and trade school representatives. This is a great opportunity for 11th graders to interact with and learn about different colleges. The itinerary includes attending the college fair, having lunch in the Millersville dining hall, and taking a campus tour. We will be taking a bus to the fair on that day. If you are interested in attending, please print out a field trip permission packet from Schoology. The first 50 students who return completed packets will be able to attend. The National Honor Society and the senior class are pleased to announce the 2017 Sir Shamrock candidates. Running for the esteemed title is Ellis Vogt, Stephen Homan, Zach Lefevre, Pierce Martin, and Jordy Rios. These seniors will be competing for the cherished title of Sir Shamrock. Asking you to vote for them by tossing your extra coins in support of their favorite charities at lunch. Voting will begin at a few weeks, so there is plenty of time for the following fellows to step up and prove the student body which charity needs their support. Who will be the 2017 Sir Shamrock? The AHS students will decide through the contributions. Good luck to the candidates. The Robotics Club got into the quarterfinals of their competition on Saturday. They were one win away from states. Alas, they didn't make it. Hopefully next week they will get us in. Now over to Jenkins with lunch. Today for lunch we have Mountaineer Cheeseburger, Pulled Pork Barbecue, Cheese Lasagna with Meatballs, Buffalo chicken wrap, chef salad, french fries, baby carrots, or celery, chilled pears, fresh fruit, or slushy. Now over to Carl with sports. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it. Screams from the haters. Got a nice ring to it. On Friday at the Wyoming Missing Team Challenge, the EHS Winter Track 4x800 meter relay team of Tyler Shue, Alex Morales, Andrew Foster, and Zach Lefevre smashed the indoor school record, winning the event with a time of 8 minutes and 21 seconds. The foursome are currently ranked 16th in the state in that event. Sophomore Faith Hirschberger set the girls' pole vault record at the same meet. Faith cleared the bar at 9 feet to set the new indoor standard at Ephrata. Currently, senior Zach Lefevre is ranked 9th in the state in the 3,000 meter run. Congratulations to all winter track athletes on a great meet last Friday. Boys and girls basketball teams played Lampeter Strasburg last Friday. The boys lost 54-42 and the girls lost 59-34. On wrestling from Saturday, Ephrata lost to Redding 60-21, to Ephrata lost to Donegal 57-21, to and Ephrata beat Kutztown 42-36. to Austin Jones and Cameron Terry were 3-0 on the day. Spring sports signups will begin in the athletics office on Monday, February 6th, and will continue until Thursday, February 16th. Spring athletic opportunities include boys and girls lacrosse, boys and girls track and field, baseball, softball, boys tennis, and boys volleyball. Uh, students should not come to the athletics office during their class time. Today, the bowling team takes on McCaskey at Dutch Lanes, and tomorrow, the boys basketball team takes on Central for the section crown. Everyone come out and support the boys. That's it for sports. Now back to the main desk. There will be a meeting of the Triumph Music Honor Society on Wednesday at 7.15 in room 114. 
be there or be square. This announcement is for any students who would like to learn more about the United States Naval Academy as a post-secondary college option. There will be a bus trip to the Academy, which is located in Annapolis, Maryland, on Saturday, March 25th. The purpose of this trip is to give interested students and their parents an opportunity to see the Academy firsthand, learn about the application and appointment process, and meet with local area, school, local area high school graduates who are presently midshipmen in the Academy. If you have an interest in serving your country as an officer, this is a great way to attend college for free. As a degree from the Academy, it's estimated to be worth approximately $400,000 for a four-year program. Well, that's it for us today. Have a great day, Ephrata. Tell me another duck story. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. A duck walked up to a corner store, and he said to the woman running the store, Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The woman said, no, it's a corner store. I mean, grapes aren't really what we're known for. We've got some grape drinks. The duck said, they kind of stink. corner store and he said to the woman running the store hey bum 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 got any grapes the woman said oh it's you again duck i already told you you're out of luck we've got some grape gum the duck said i'll take none then he waddled away waddle waddle then he waddled away waddle waddle then he waddled away waddle waddle till the very next day bum bum when the duck walked up to the corner store And he said to the woman running the store Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The woman said, look, I'm trying not to shout But please either buy something or get out We 